1384 to 1984. That was founded by the Barclays. Right. Lord Barclay. Because Lord Barclay was born in 1884. Right. Well, he owned nearly half of England here. Yeah. Wow. He would have been one of the old landowners, yeah? Oh, yes, they owned everything. And they used to own a lot of land back then, didn't they? Mm. The man that used to own um, Sussex, where I'm from, was called William de Warren. Yeah? Yeah, and um, just round the corner from me is um, a road called Warren Drive, which is named after him. Yeah, we got a, we got a little bit of history where I'm from. Because I, I like my history, see, I'm a, I'm a fan of history. Sure, That's right. why I can appreciate a place like this. Right, right, right from a little boy I've loved history. Yeah. And by God, Gloucestershire has got it here. Yeah. Unfortunately, there were so many titled people in here. The Lords, the, the Dukes, the, yep. the, the, the King children. Uh, it was a hive of rich Titled people here. Yep. And those sort of people look after their properties. Yeah, of course they, they don't do. They sell them. They keep them in the family for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, unfortunately, um, a lot of the old estates now are long gone, aren't they? Because uh, where I lived, there was a lot of estates. A big mansion, yeah. all the grounds. Now they've all been eaten up by the council, building horrible homes on. Well, fortunately, here yeah, the rich people won't have that. Yeah, right. They, they yeah, they got more say. They've the, stopped it. Yeah, your average man in the street where I'm from, they haven't got. Uh, most of them aren't interested. Like I say, there's so much influx of people that all they're worried about is getting a getting somewhere to live. They're not worried about history. And there are some. We have got a local history society that do I their best, be but I said, work for them. yeah, there's no work for our own people. Nah, so nah. I, they... I'm unemployed myself, John. How I, the hell can they allow this situation? Yeah. I had lots of jobs Don't when I left think school. There should be a revolution. Yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely. Years ago, there would have been. Yeah. Do you know what they're doing? They're giving people pensions and uh, they can just about live on and they're quite happy. Yep. Yeah. A lot of working people today. Yeah. Don't you, even if they could strike, they wouldn't. No. Nah. Because, they, like, like I said earlier, if, if they did strike, there'd be there, there's there's 20 men to fill that job, isn't there? Like you said, That's right. all foreigners who will yeah. button up their lips, yeah. they won't argue back. No. They'll work. They'll work for shit wages, and it and it brings the quality of life down for everyone else. Mm -hmm. This country's had it. It's a shame. It's a shame. I can see it. I can see it. You know. Makes me sick to my stomach uh, sometimes. Responsibility, not not the man, not the workers. No, nah, that's right. And we and we're the ones that have to put up with it, aren't we? Yeah. It's not it's not the rich men living in their big Labour, houses. It's the working man party. That is the working man's worst fucking enemy. The yeah. Labour party. They might they might have been 50, 60 years ago. They might have had yes. good intentions then, but not now, as soon as they got in power and it all became that. Yeah. They're all greedy, they're all fat cats, aren't they? They're all in it for what they can get. And you'll find that the working man got no fucking brains. Yeah. Some have, some have. Yeah, and that's the ones you've got to fucking watch. Yeah. Working man brains. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of them people, John. I, I consider myself one of them people. But, but, you, you can't open your mouth because if you do, there's too many people that are against them views, aren't there? Yeah. They don't agree with it and they shoot you down and. Sometimes you're better off just just not bothering uh, saying people anything. People rule in our country are very crafty people. They've allowed a situation to take off like this that the working man can't stand up for himself. Now. No, there's nothing we can do about it. All the power has been taken out of our hands, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. We used to have power We're going back, no. unions and that, but our forefathers wouldn't put up with what we're putting up with. No, they wouldn't have. They certainly wouldn't have put up with it in King Henry the Ape's time, I know that. It would have been chop chop. I wish sometimes I wish we could go back to them sort of times, you know, the way people used to think, but 
Them times are long gone, aren't they? Best well, thing to do is. Has it gone 10 o'clock? There's a clock up there. Blimey. Bless you, John. Thank you very much for talking okay. to me and letting me sit in your lovely warm room. Do you want me to uh, let you get on with it and I'll go and see what them uh, them lot are up to? Are you do, are you a ghost hunter? Yeah. Yeah. Where, so, what other places have you done? Oh, um, Wealdon Downland Museum in Sussex. You, that's a lovely place. What they do, uh, Wealdon Downland Museum. What they do, whenever old buildings get knocked down, they come along, take it down brick for brick, and then rebuild it on the site. It's a four acre site, it's, so there's a lot of room, and there's so many lovely old buildings there. Um, um, that was a good one. Yeah, we've done, we've done a lot, we've done a lot, spirit and soul. Opposite the run, did you notice the church, parish church? No, well, no. It, it towers above here, because it's on higher land. Do you know what, when we was coming in the car, my ears kept popping. Yes. Uh, yeah, and You're they said it was down, down, down to the height. Yeah. Well, the builders of the church actually loved here. They what? Yeah, loved here. And oh, the really? Ram, the ram was built, first of all, to accommodate the builders who built the church. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. That's why the bishops of Gloucester bless this building. Oh, yeah, right. Would you think English heritage would be given to save it? Yeah. It's only ghost hunters that are saving it. Yeah. It stinks. Yeah, it does stink. You're right. I totally agree with you. Right, I'm going to get on out there now, John, and uh, see how they're all getting on. All right. Do you find it won't be as warm as this? No, no, it's all right. I'm prepared. At least, at least I've had the benefit of your lovely I'm open fire. There's not more people coming in here from warm. They're all too busy doing the cables and all that sort of stuff. Oh. All that, uh, fixing up the cameras and things like that. And I'm, I'm not too good with that. So Can I thought... they can come in here? Yeah, I'll tell... Uh, well, you prob you'll probably want to relax soon, wouldn't you? And eh? You'll probably want to relax soon and be by yourself, oh, I, won't I you? So we won't disturb me. you. I, they won't worry me. I should be sleeping. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we won't have people walking through no, disturbing you. Please come in here. I'm... I'm Welcome, let's see you come here. You like the company, yeah? Yeah. Good. Well, you, if you want to pop out and uh, see any of us and see how we're getting on, you're more than welcome, Will. too cold for me, I'm Yeah, <laughs> even with your coat on, I, I, I agree. Yeah, it's very cold out there. Like I say, my hands were like blocks of ice until I come in here. They're good now, look, though. Mm. <laughs> All right then, John, I shall love you and leave you for the moment. Okay. All right, so you're getting, getting sleepy. They got that. I got that ease round full blast. Yeah. And that warms a whole lot up here. Yeah, makes you sleepy, doesn't it? There. The old warmth. Thank you very much for your time, John. Well, thank you for coming. No problem. I'm going to get out there now, and uh, fingers crossed that we get some activity tonight, and we shall let you know. One o'clock in the morning. Is that the hot spot? Hour, yeah. yeah, the witching hour. One um, o'clock. And that apparently, in the hospitals, I'm told, is where most people die. Ah, oh, that's interesting. And that must be something to do with here. Because they, one o'clock is the time here, the bush now. Ah, so keep keep an eye on ears open at one o'clock, yeah? yeah? Brilliant. And let's hope that um, succubus shows I her face. I thought Ghost Hunters knew that. Yeah, we do. Uh, we, we usually sort of think around midnight. But a lot, a lot of paranormal investigators, though, anything can happen at any time. Oh, exactly. But by the same token, if they don't want to play ball, they won't. You know? It's, it goes either way, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know, when you're dead, this is all dies. Yeah. Your life goes on really. Yeah. That's right. And I think sometimes, when I'm all on my own, I Hmm. What's it all about? What can I remember about the years past? Um, sometimes things come flooding in. Yeah. <laughs> the mem memory's a funny thing, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes it, it suppresses memories and other times it brings things out. But what I find horrible about this building is I couldn't understand why I've been having the incubus. Yeah. 
The Americans made three films about it. One's called Incubus, one's called The Entity, and the third one is called The Haunted. Oh yeah, The Haunted. The story of The Haunted is the same as me. <laughs> In America, this young couple with three small daughters. Yeah. And I bought the van, three small daughters. There's a picture. I think it went. Uh, I think you put it behind the picture of your school there. Yeah, that was behind that picture. My three daughters. That uh, one was only a baby. Oh, there they are over there. I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we met Caroline, didn't we? Yeah. She's the oldest. You must be very proud of, proud of her and your oh, daughters. Yeah. See, I haven't got any children. She'll take this on. Oh, yeah, she does, a, she does a cracking job, doesn't she? Yeah. But at, least, at least you haven't got to worry about all that, John, she, have you? She loves the place. Yeah. And I'm pleased about that. Yeah. Because you, have, you haven't got that worry, have you? No. You haven't got to worry that, you know, what's going to happen well, in the future I with a place. I don't worry anyway. No. Because I, 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 I give my life into the hands of God. Yeah. I trust Him. Brilliant. I think that's a great I'm place. I'm perfect. I never will be perfect. Now, who well, is? You can trust God. Yep. And do you know I talk to God just like I'm talking to you? Really? Yes. All day long. Yeah, it must be nice to have that faith, because yeah. I've never really had any it's religious wonderful. feelings. And do you know what? I've got such a strange presence with me. Dogs are attacking me all the time. Now then, people walking their dog past the ram. Mm hmm. Have a guess what they say to me. What's that? We've got a hell of a job to get my dog to go past your house. You know why, don't you? Because ah, you know ah. why? Because dogs are very sensitive to spirits they and things. It's so much funny. Animal animals have got um, higher senses than we have, haven't they? Yes. And they're they're not as silly as what people think they are. So you know, some some people take dogs with them on ghost hunts, John. I have seen dogs here where people have brought their dogs into the building, turn round and go for their owner's throats. Really? My dog has never before treated me like this. Wow. Why is it? Yeah, that's There's strange. in this building that dogs don't like it. Wow. That's very strange, isn't it? Well, it just goes to show that it's, every picture tells a story. It certainly so does. Some people, local people say he's making it all up. <laughs> let, let them think what they want to think. It I doesn't know, matter, does it? Me one bit. Nah, that's good. Let let them be the doubters. There's no doubt in you, so let them be the doubters. Okay. Let, let let them have sleepless I've got nights. Far too many ghosts and just coming here to prove I am not making it up. No, that's right. That's right. Right now, John. I think that's a good place to wrap this up thank you very much for your time my friend we're now going to go and have a look around your lovely building ah well very soon you'll find me asleep on it no problem <laughs> you have a nice kip i'm uh, i can sleep in any situation have a have a nice um blast on your uh scotch there oh this yeah that, that that'll put that it warm yeah <laughs> That that would give you a nice kit, won't it? Ghost hunters gave me that. Oh, did they? I don't know what was left of it. <laughs> I couldn't afford to buy that. No, costs a lot of money these days, don't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. And that really is warms the whole body. Mm. It sure does. I've had a tot or two in 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 the past down the years when I've not been well. Does help. Puts airs on your chest, that's what they say, isn't it? That's right. Makes you a man. Well, look how fit I am. I'm nearly 90. Oh, no. You, you're doing incredibly I well. I don't believe it. Nah. I'm a Christian, I don't tell lies. No, that's it. Good living is rewarded, isn't it? Do you know, when I was a little boy, people had foreseen the future for me. And I've met quite a few people like that. Yeah. They've told me. I swear on the Bible. The second coming again of Jesus Christ was going to be in my lifetime. Really? I would live to see it. Have you seen it? 
I'm looking forward to it. You're still Anything waiting? Now, it could come any day. Oh, bless. We don't know. No one's going to know. No. But then again, you've got to separate the crackpots, haven't you? There's a lot of crackpots out there, isn't there? Yeah.